Hello. In this short video, I wanted to walk through the process of how you would add a new uh, remote source into Chocolatey GUI. So let's go ahead and open up uh, Chocolatey GUI. And what we'll find is that currently I have two uh, remote sources configured. One is to my uh, local Nexus repository, and the other is to the Chocolatey license feed. Now let's say for the sake of argument that I wanted to add a new source, for example, the Chocolatey community repository. Now, uh, in an organizational context, we don't recommend the usage of the uh, Chocolatey community repository, but for the sake of this video, let's say that we're gonna add it in. So I'm gonna click on settings here, and I'm gonna go to sources. So what I can do is I can click new at this point, and I can go in here and I can put in the name of the source. So I'm just gonna call it Chocolatey. Uh, the source in this case is gonna be the URL to the Chocolatey community repository. Uh, v2 feed. So that's just uh, chocolatey.org slash API slash v2. If this was a, an authenticated feed, then I could click in here to set the uh, username and password that was needed. Or if a certificate was needed in order to authenticate to that source, then we have the option of adding those in. Uh, I can control the priority that I want to set to that uh, source. So um, where it comes in the uh, prioritization of where packages come from or what gets searched first, and you have the option of doing that. Uh, I can uh, make it disabled uh, when I first create it. I can say that it's a self-service source, meaning uh, is, is this usable within uh, the chocolatey background agent? Uh, is there anything to do, is, uh, do I have to uh, use a bypass proxy in order to make use of this source? And the other setting here, which is uh, visible to admins only. Now this setting uh, should note that that setting will only come into action if you are using a uh, chocolatey license extension, if you're using both uh, chocolatey open source and chocolatey GUI open source, then this setting, even though you set it, uh, won't actually take uh, effect. So I'm just gonna leave all of those as disabled by default for now, and I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So what we'll see is that information has been taken from these uh, input boxes, and it's been added into the, the list at the top here. And if I go back to the main view uh, within chocolatey GUI, we'll see that that hasn't taken effect. Now that's due to the fact that um, the the source has been added to Chocolatey, but Chocolatey GUI wasn't aware of it initially. So we, you did have to um, close and reopen Chocolatey in order for that source to appear. Now that's something that we want to improve on within Chocolatey GUI. Uh, but for now, uh, once you add the source, simply close and reopen it and it will be available. So if I now use, uh, click on Chocolatey here, it will now go off and fetch uh, the first page of results uh, from that uh, source uh, ready for uh, installation of those packages. So hopefully this has been useful. Uh, thank you very much.